Today it's baritone on a budget with Alvarez. We're going to talk about how you get that low end growl without breaking the bank. Stick around. Hey, you're watching Alamo Music TV. My name is Chris McKee. And I'm Cooper Greenberg. And we are here with Alamo Music in San Antonio, Texas. You can find us online at alamomusic.com. If you're new to the channel, subscribe, turn on notifications, like our videos. If you want to support us, check out our store uh, on Spring for some swag. Check out our podcast, The Fretboard Confessional. Buy guitars from our website, all that stuff. Uh, like this guitar. This is the Alvarez ABT60E, right? With like 40 other letters. Yeah, on it or well, depending upon, yeah, variation of finish or, yeah. you know, you can get fewer letters if you go with the non-E variety, but we did it. This one has a pickup. Um, and we're going to be talking about a baritone at a budget price. There actually yeah. aren't a lot of them out there. I think Guild makes one that we ought to mm. do a comparison on this one with. But, you know, most of the baritones we have featured on this channel have come from... Taylor. From Taylor Guitars. And when you're looking at that, it's going to be expensive. Uh, well, expensive-er. What's the typical lowest price for like the 326? It's around two grand. I think it's a little over two grand now because, I mean, I think Inflation. Even, even the normal like 314 is over two grand now. So yeah, I remember when. Oh, yeah. I remember when. I think <laughs> those last ones may have been like 26 99 yeah. or something. Yeah. yeah, so over two. And that's pretty typical if you search for just like acoustic guitar baritone or baritone acoustic guitar. Um, it's going to show you really this, a guild, and then a bunch of other guitars that are all going to be uh, $2,000 or more. Yeah. You know, so if you're wanting to get into the low end growl of a baritone guitar and you don't want to make that financial commitment, there's not a lot of options. This is one of them. We've carried them in the past. They sold really, really well. Yeah. And uh, it's high time that we kind of review it and talk about the pros and cons, because there are some, of buying a guitar that's a baritone at $549. Yeah, I mean, one of the reasons that we we like certain lower end guitars kind of experimenting like this is because a lot of people can't spend over two grand on their main guitar that's just normal six string acoustic or, mm -hmm. you know, so it's nice when Alvarez or say like Squire with the paranormal stuff, like, when you get a little creative with 12 strings, baritones, mm -hmm. you know, weird stuff within an affordable price range. And uh, Alvarez does have, you know, full, full, full disclosure, we're getting into Alvarez and we're going to check out some of their weirder stuff, which I'm excited for. Um, dive they, into the weird. We're going to dive into the weird. And they have normal stuff too, so it's not <laughs> just weird stuff. But um, for something like this at the price range, I think it's more accessible for people that maybe are recording. You want to do some weird stuff. You want to layer in some baritone growl. And there are some affordable electric baritones, mm -hmm. but way less, I think, in the acoustic world. Um, and everybody loves that that Taylor, so it's kind of interesting time after those limited ones just got released. Look at a different option, six string. They do have an eight string mm -hmm. baritone as well, Alvarez does. So if you really like that eight string Taylor and you don't want to drop closer to three grand on it. Yeah, you definitely have some options. Well, the other part is that they're not always available. And yeah. that should be, you know, a consideration too, is Taylor tends to kind of cyclically put, if, is that a word, English major? Yeah. Okay, I thought so. Uh, put that into the, you know, availability, if you will. Um, and, and then take it away. Yeah. You know, they give it and they take it away. Oh, so yeah. um, it's nice to have this as an option. It's one of, I think, their most popular guitars. But let's talk about why you'd want a baritone first of all, and then we'll, we'll kind of talk about the specs of this and demo it. But, you know, you mentioned some of it. It's You get this low-end growl. I've yeah. had guys buy a baritone because they are baritones. Yeah. When they sing their baritone and they're tired of to have a song in their range having to capo up. Way up, yeah. Yeah, and then your guitar sounds closer to like mandolin territory because yeah. you're at the fifth fret or higher. Um, and, and effectively, a baritone, we've talked about this, but if you're not familiar with it, it's like capoing down. You're tuning it uh, to the same intervals as yeah. a standard tuning, but all uh, like four and a half steps or five frets down. So your E becomes a B. Your A becomes an E, your D yeah. becomes an A, your, you know. <laughs> and it gets, it gets you tripped up because you're thinking, oh, it's just a B on the top and then everything, is else, everything else is the same. It's not the case. And then your B becomes an F sharp. Yeah. Yeah, yeah your <laughs> second string is going to be an F sharp, not yeah. a G, because then you'd have to tune your high B up to C sharp. Right. You know, so you got F sharp, your second string, but it's bead, B-E-A-D. Yeah. 
F sharp and D. Now, you, and you can tune down with a normal guitar, you really can, but you're gonna run into issues. So first of all, um, your strings, if they're a normal gauge of string, and you tune down that low, they're just gonna be flopping all over the place. It's one thing to like do like a drop D, yeah. but if you start tuning everything down, you quickly realize my intonation's just horrible, yeah. and everything's just kind of flopping all over the place, and it sounds sound terrible. Like corn. <laughs> yeah, you sound like it's corn on acoustic. Um, <laughs> <laughs> That'd be great. If you didn't think of that <laughs> back at our podcast naming, we should have been corn on acoustic. Corn acoustic. Dude, that's just that's oh, just classic. That's right great. There. Yeah. Um, now Strokes you, a genius. <laughs> you can compensate for that by going with heavier gauge strings, but your intonation still suffers because the scaling's not designed to yeah. be tuned down that way. So a baritone accomplishes this you know, ideal feat by j same thing that a bass guitar does. It's a longer scaling, it's like 37, no, not 37, 27. It's a 45 inch scaling, yeah. <laughs> 27 inch scaling, uh, which is gonna adjust the placement of all of the frets so that the int intonation's correct, adjust the tension on the strings, and then of course they're heavier gauge strings. So you can have it tuned to B. So that's how it works, and that's what it's for. And you know, we talked about singing. I also like it just as that other flavor. If you're playing with other guitars, like here's a great thing: if you have three acoustic guitars, don't play them all the same. Have yeah. like have a baritone, have the normal one, and then have one capoed and playing different chord forms. And the sound that you get is amazing. Yeah, and or Nashville tuning. Nashville Add a fourth tuning, one. Yeah, tenor tuning, all that stuff. And the the thing is, because people ask this too. Uh, people come in and they're like, well, I have this old um, classical, I'm going to put steel strings on it. Mm -hmm. Or I have, uh, you know, this one guitar that's designed for one thing and I want to make it sound like this, I want to make it into a baritone. There's so much extra work that goes into yeah. that that a, a actual technician would have to do to make it play Change close. the nut, do the setup, all that jazz. And um, we typically, friendly, uh, we're friendly about it, but we advise against it because... Yeah. Guitars are designed for uh, what they're designed for from the factory. So don't put 15 gauge strings on your. Uh, it's like taking a minivan and trying to yes. turn it into a dragster. Is it possible? Yeah. Is try. it a lot harder to do? Yes. And it still might not get you where you need to go. <laughs> um, so if you want a baritone, that's where uh, it comes in to find a nice affordable one so you don't totally thrash your current guitar that you're playing on yeah. by trying to make it into a baritone. And what's, so let's talk about specs on this because there, you get a lot when it comes to an affordable price point. I already mentioned currently it's five forty nine ninety nine. Um, you can check it out on our website because prices is subject to change, um, as we've seen the last few years. But this one's still, you know, remain relatively affordable. It's a solid A plus Sitka spruce top. It's laminate, um, African mahogany back and sides. You've got ivory binding on it, which is really great looking. I prefer it to the you know stark bright white stuff. Um, they're um, I forget the name of the bridge. The Alvarez Bridge. <laughs> yeah, it's a two. It's kind of like a two-piece bridge. It's a staggered bridge. It increases the breakover angle uh, at the saddle, which is really great for tone transfer and sound. Um, and you, you know, you've got the wonderful look with the kind of abalone inlay for the rosette. It's I've I've always liked their design for their uh, pick guard. It's rather fetching and blends in with the whole aesthetic. Um, you know, very unadorned on the fretboard except for the 12th fret, which I, I also like. like. Yeah. Um, and then the great thing on this, yeah, it has an LR Bags Stage Pro Element pickup. So mm -hmm. that's going to be an under saddle pickup only um, with full EQ, built in tuner, which I tried and it actually works. I say that because sometimes you get tuners and they have a hard time picking up that low B. Yeah. This one works great. It's got a notch filter and phase button on it as well. So it's a really good. Uh, pickup and by the way, on a baritone, you probably wouldn't want to mic anyway. It's such a low frequency that going with an under saddle, if you're wanting to plug and amplify, is probably the better way to go. Yeah, it's like would you mic up an acoustic bass? Yeah, probably it's not. it's you tough. Know. It's yeah. tough to to EQ it correctly. So, um, so I I played this, uh, put it through its paces, and did a few things to illustrate uh, what the guitar does well and maybe what it struggles to do a little bit. So, check it out.
So there you have it. Uh, that is the demo of the Alvarez ABT60E. Um, I did mention this comes without an, uh, the pickup, although I would advise them getting the one with the pickup because it's better to have it to uh, have it and not need it than need it and not have it. And yeah. adding this pickup in, if you bought the non-pickup version or any pickup, would cost more than this guitar with a pickup does. Yeah. Um, if that makes sense. There's also a variation in finish you can get, but I actually really like the I like the, the, natural. the natty. Natty light. So let's talk about so Pro again, price point, really good pickup system. Um, and of course you're getting a baritone, so you get that low end rumble and growl. And it really transforms certain songs. Mm -hmm. Just playing it in a lower key sounds pretty cool. Not everything works tuned down. Um, and this has some warts to it, which you should expect at 549. Namely, it needs a setup. Yeah. Yeah. The action out of the box, which is what we have today, um, is too high. I think that's kind of being expected. And in fact, it's a good conversation to have. If you are buying a budget baritone or budget 12 string specifically, but really any lower priced acoustic guitar, oftentimes it would benefit from a setup. But I think people are particularly um, susceptible or sensitive to it if it comes to a baritone or a 12 string, just because the added tension, in this case it's the thickness of the strings, in the case of a 12 string, it's twice as many strings in the added tension. It's it's more obvious, yeah. you know, that sure. a guitar needs to have the action lowered and whatnot. Yeah, this would do really well with setup. Um, I think, it's probably something that you should be wary of across the board, like you said, in the price range. Like if you really like the sound of a guitar, you like the look of it, you've read good reviews, um, and then you order one online from us or anywhere else, um, feel free to ask at, at the time when you're, you're getting it. We can have our tech check it out. One of us can look, right. look at it and at least be able to say, out of the box, no, you're good to go, or this right. could benefit from some work. Maybe you have somebody close to you that you'd rather work on it. But um, yeah, it is something that can dramatically improve like a brand new guitar just right out the boxes. Yeah. If you if you know that's the one for you and then you get it and you play it and you're like, ah, it's just hard to play or whatever, maybe try getting it set up before you give up on it because it can it can really help. And it's still a good value with that included, you know, because we talked about the other price point options. So if you purchase this because, you know, you're trying to save some money, just budget in. Uh, you know, a few hundred dollars more perhaps depending upon where the setup's being done um, so that it can get dialed in because then you're going to enjoy the guitar. Um, some of the stuff I played was closer to the nut. It was perfectly fine. But as you move further up the neck, it becomes more obvious. It becomes more difficult to play. But the other thing that happens is it becomes less in tune yeah. uh, because at, what happens is you're, you're having to stretch the strings more and that's going to make it sharp. That's basically just how it works. Um, so... That would be my advice if you were looking at a guitar out uh, around this price range, really for anything, but particularly for baritones, 12 strings, like I said. Um, and outside of that, I'm really impressed with the pickup that's on it. Um, yeah. And it has a really good sound um, otherwise. And yeah, it's a really good value add at you know under 600 bucks to get some creativity into your collection. Because um, that's one of the biggest things that I try to recommend to people is, you know, add a mandolin Add a 12 string, do something with Nashville tuning. If you are going to be adding to your collection, try different tone woods, but these uh, variations are what really will sometimes unlock something in your playing. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I think it's cool and it's nice. Like we do, and recently we have been doing a lot of very high end guitars that are not super accessible to a lot of people. Yes, we've seen the comments. We're not just totally pivoting, it's just we've gotten some really cool stuff and we want to show yeah. it to you. But um, there typically is a pretty good option that's affordable for any specialty instrument that you're looking for. And so 
feel free to tell us if we do a 8-string baritone. I don't have $2,700 to spend on a guitar that I'm not going to play every single song on forever. Well, that's a good option, yeah. So, yeah, there's options. They do the 8-string. They do an all-black version of that. It's really cool. With the cutaway? They have a vast amount of guitars that they make from very affordable to very unaffordable. And um, ideally, we, we get to pick the coolest ones and kind of show you our favorites. And if you have questions, just let us know. Yep. Very cool. Uh, we should also add at five forty nine ninety nine with a pickup, it does not include a case. Um, and a common question I often have with these is, what case will it fit? It's a jumbo body, so you want to look at a jumbo, but you also want to make sure that uh, it accommodates the length of the neck. If you have questions on that, we can make sure that you get the right case. Just go to our website. You can check out all the specifics on there, but you can also chat with one of our associates or even reach out to either of us. Uh, through the website, and that way we can find the guitar to suit your needs and to meet your dreams. So, pretty cool, right? That's what I'm talking about. What's that website? Um, cornonacoustic.com. <laughs> the website is alamomusic.com, and uh, you can see all the cool stuff that we've got, but more importantly, just click the little text us thing. I already have an we'll, idea for a shirt we'll just We'll just answer your questions. If you want directly. the Corn on Acoustic shirt, Please comment in the comments of this video. Just one kernel. I'm going to make it happen. <laughs> one kernel of corn <laughs> on a guitar. Yeah. Anyways, if you're new to our channel, make sure you subscribe. You turn on notifications. You like our videos. You keep coming back for more. And we will see you next time.